So maybe you have a boring desktop. Maybe you have a boring wallpaper, an ugly theme, and nothing else of interest. Maybe you actually show your desktop icons. You are a horrible person. But no worries, because I'm going to show you how to turn your desktop from this to this. We'll be using two different programs, Rain Meter and Wallpaper Engine. First, Rain Meter. Rain Meter is a desktop customization software where you can add weather overlays, clocks, audio visualizers, CPU slash RAM slash GPU slash anything else monitors, program launchers, and much more to your desktop. Wallpaper Engine is a program that allows you to have just about any wallpaper you want to. You can have video wallpapers, interactive wallpapers, you can even set any application you have as a wallpaper, if you really want to. RimWorld is a great game to do this with, by the way, if you want to feel pain. So let's get right into the setup. Let's start with Wallpaper Engine. Actually, start by turning off desktop icons, really. But anyways, Wallpaper Engine is a paid software. But it's only $5, and it's totally worth it. If you really don't want to spend that money, then just pick a still wallpaper you think will fit nicely into the setup you just saw. If you do have it or are willing to buy it, simply open up Wallpaper Engine, go to the Workshop tab, and search for Summer Night. That's the wallpaper we'll be using. You can use whatever other wallpaper you like, and I encourage you to explore, but I recommend this specific one for this desktop. For the best look, you also need to turn on the setting which matches your Windows theme to your wallpaper. Next, on to the more complicated, admittedly less polished, and more interesting piece of software, RainMeter. To get started, you'll have to go to rainmeter.net and click Download Final. Double click it and then just keep clicking the next button until it's installed, and now the real fun starts. To install a single skin or a package of skins, you'll need to go on the internet <gasps> and find a file that ends with .rmskin. Some good places to find these are rainmeter.com, visualskins.com, and dpntart. Forgive me. But I'm here to offer a curated experience, so I will make all the files required for this particular desktop available to you guys. And you will, of course, accept it without question, because I am your supreme leader. Honestly though, it is pretty good looking in my humble opinion. Well, you can certainly use Rain Meter without ever touching the edit button. You may want to edit a skin or possibly even make your own from scratch. Making a Rain Meter skin is something I can only describe as halfway between programming and markup. It uses the standard .ini file format with various sections denoted by brackets and key value pairs. For more detail, look at the docs. Link in the description. Now, on to the Rain Meter setup. I have provided a zip file with all the .rm skin files you need. To install an RM skin file, simply double click it, go through the install process, and make sure all the boxes are ticked. Now, as the file names clearly state, you will want to install the YT skin one last. The file name isn't enough for you, this is also in the README. But anyway, just double click them one by one. Some, such as the visualizer and the weather, require further setup. The visualizer will put up a menu for setup. It should be fairly simple and obvious, but it's worth noting that if you're using FooBar like I am, you'll need to install FooCAD on it to make it work properly. I will again provide a download link to FooCAD. For the weather, you'll have to manually load up the settings and edit a text file. Simply put in the name of your town, or possibly your address, and it works like magic, or possibly it's just getting location info from our Google overlords. And after that, you can then decide whether you want metric or imperial units. I use Imperial because I'm a dumb American. Well, there you are. You have a complete, beautiful, custom desktop. I now encourage you to check out other Rain Meter skins and Wallpaper Engine wallpapers, and you are obligated to like and stub, stub, sub, because making videos is extremely hard and time consuming. Also, make sure to check in next week where I'll be making a video about the Epic versus Apple lawsuit, and why it'll be better for everybody if Epic wins. Anyway, have a nice day. Goodbye.